I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Anno 1800. This is a viewer-sponsored series, so thank you to a Mr. Storm for making this possible. And I think I can speak for all of us, saying that I've been anticipating this for a while. Uh, this is a very nice-looking game, and uh, seems pretty cool. They pulled back from the, uh, the Anno 2205 fiasco and uh, went back to the original formula, but they left some things in from 2205. So we'll see how that plays out. It actually uh, kind of helps some of the layout. So uh, I have played a little bit of the campaign just to get a feel for it, but we'll be starting a new game, obviously. And this is the complete edition, so I have all of the DLC minus the one that apparently hasn't even come out yet. So uh, we will be exploring the game in full. Let's begin. Start out with the campaign. And we'll take some tips. This is probably going to be annoying after a while, but like to know the game a little better. And we get to pick a portrait. There are many portraits to unlock as well as purchase using your Ubisoft club points. Uh, there's a lot of expensive stuff in this game, uh, club point wise, but there's also a lot of opportunities to unlock them. And of course they're all cosmetic so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's choosing this guy for me by default, but I like the look of this guy instead. There's apparently a more casual version of him down here, but I have no idea what any of that is for. Anyway, let's begin. Uh, let's pick... A lot of options here. Well, I mean, I could choose one of the things I've already unlocked, I suppose. Or we could pick something fancy and... Okay, whatever, let's just grab this one and go. And we'll use all the extra content. Lettuce Lane, what? Oh no, 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 this will not do. This will not do at all. Okay, and then we got a couple custom skins, I guess, and then this has not been made available to me. And we'll just play normal and begin. So, uh, yes, the, uh, the game is, uh, is a little bit different than previous games uh, in that it adds a lot more modern things, obviously, but it affects the layout of your cities. Uh, the typical formula for Anno games is that you have the circle, and uh, this goes with the kind of uh, 2205 square design in some situations. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. All right. His, uh, his little symbol there. Here it is. Uh, just get plenty of distance on the throw. Okay. I feel like... Is that... I've seen this symbol before. Is that in Anno 1404? Okay, you, you can... How can I get rid of that? There. Okay. So we need to get some fish for our people. And we'll just... You have an eye for opportunity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. <laughs> That's what Still I want. trying to get used to that smell of char. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? All the blistered fish they could ever want. 
me that first bang, I knew it was you. So, come show me what you got this time. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. I feel so, like this plot... This We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. This plot feels somewhat familiar. Isn't it like 1702? I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father no, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is in dungeon? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. That's a new word to me, in dungeoning somebody. I'll have to use it more in casual conversation. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. All those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. The good old sins of the father. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. Okay, a little bit of a slow beginning. There is a lot of story, as I recall in the first chapter. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you are at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must Not shelter the good, away. loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Alright, now do I need... Okay, so there are these ruins on the islands now. 
to help clear out the space. I, I think it's only this. I did not see it in the uh, the sandbox mission. Uh, but you need a certain amount of people in order to clear it away. So we'll have to begin with the usual market space. And you can see now that there are lines showing the uh, the area, I guess, of, of effect for the marketplace. However, uh, whereas in previous Anno games this would be like a circular uh, place where you could build, uh, you can actually build outside of the marketplace range this time. Um, so like I was saying, it takes sort of the square patterning from uh, Anno 2205 and uh, it sort of breaks up the necessity for uh, the bu building within range, but only in some buildings I've noticed. Uh, for example, once we get to the farming buildings, you need to put your plots down next to the farm building within a certain zone. I mean, it's very, very weird and unusual. But uh, there are uh, there are some changes. Let's see. How do I? Right, right clicking. Um, so uh, this is a very uh, aesthetic kind of game. Uh, there, there's a lot of decorative uh, buildings and whatnot in it. And uh, just kind of looking around for layouts, uh, optimal layouts uh, for this game, uh, I got turned on to the idea of a 10x10 10 10 grid. And what I mean by that... Oh yeah, you can't build while you're pa paused. I forgot about that. Uh, what I mean by that is that unlike in previous NO games where because of the circular nature of things you had to build uh, in a certain type of pattern that became kind of weird, uh, this game allows you to build a little bit more uh, traditional city builder, I guess, a little bit more freeform. And so I'm going to take uh, the road here, and this is a 7 by road, so we'll just pick a thing and uh, go off there. And just pull up until I can go. Um, you know, maybe. Well, yeah, no, the central, a central building. I don't think I'll do. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna build my my blocks here at a little bit of a different. Uh, if I can actually get the whole thing to come out right, a little bit of a different uh, layout. And, uh, you know, in previous games, I have had sort of the uh, the walk-through industrial or agricultural uh, stuff, uh, whereas as the, uh, the city center itself I, I've put a little bit further away. I think uh, for the look of this game, though, it would make more sense to have sort of a dock industrial area, kind of like we saw over there in that, that big one, uh, down along the waterfront, and then sort of have the city right next to it. And then as we go, I'll put uh, sort of my raw goods along the edge of town. So I'm going to put the market, I guess maybe more central. I should probably lay out my actual my actual uh, grid here. Now, what uh, what's cool about this layout that I saw is that uh, you have to leave spaces for sort of an internal pathway. Uh, because your your buildings don't all fit in there, but what 10 by 10 allows for is a lot of the other buildings, uh, the city buildings, that are, are weird sizes that you'd otherwise have to compensate for in uh, the, kind of that circular pattern. And uh, what's what's neat about it is that this game also has railroad that allows you to run through your town. And so by having this 10 by 10 grid, you can space buildings in such a way that you can have really cool looking patterns. Um, for your for your city, which for the aesthetic of a Victorian style town, uh, I think will uh, will be a lot better. So we'll give that a shot. And if I could come up with some sort of central building, and I might do this for when we get to uh, like a sandbox, because I'll probably I'll probably do my own uh, sandbox let's play of this, kind of like I did in Anno 1404 where I then I did the campaign series and then later I did the, the Venice expansion sandbox series I'll probably do one, but uh, if you've seen my Lethys let's play, uh, near the end of that let's play I did a, a layout uh, for a city that I thought was kind of cool, we'll see if maybe I can do something similar to that uh, in here um, so the central marketplace I guess I'll just kind of put here it looks like it'll cover a, a good area, but maybe if I put it further back, then we can keep this first bit for industry. 
and then this will be kind of central to up there. Yeah, I think that'll work out. I'm going to push this off to the side. This is not actually part of the the layout, so we'll be doing that for this. Uh, we need ten residences. Okay, day night set off and on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need ten residences. So I'm going to set up this first you reach a new milestone. First one like this. And so what this does is then it allows me to put a road to have one kind of in the middle here. And I guess for this block I will do so. But uh, it also do then allows me to. Or is this some futile attempt at competition? <sighs> There's a lot of NPC interruption. As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Okay. If the, uh, the family drama has died down for a minute. Um, another thing about this layout, though, is that it allows you to have a lot of this decorative stuff that you can then put in because it leaves a lot of dead space around your blocks. And so uh, you can really customize a lot of the look, which is pretty cool. Um, is this one too many for my purposes? Perhaps it is. I only need it. Ten, so let's actually get rid of those. That way we don't overburden ourselves. You don't need to produce everything yourself. You can just pay others for it. So we can go into the trade post. And... Well, we don't really need anything right now. We'll just let this go for a minute. And we will let the farmers grow up a little bit. So I could... Since this is probably dead space that will not be usable to me, uh, you can see there's a lot of ornamentation available. A lot of it I have not purchased, but I may, and I'm not sure if that... See what slander, Edvard, Prince, and Bright Sands. Jesus, what? Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. Did I... Island Sail Calamity? He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Thought I had maybe subtitles on, but I'm not sure of that. Okay, so we're just waiting here. Uh, another good feature, uh, I, I guess good feature, uh, interesting feature, I'll say, about this game is uh, things like that, where rather than making me wait for all these farmers to move in, it had a sort of little interlude there uh, to progress the story. And uh, this game does have a little bit of that. Um, I think it was 2205. It might have been the other, other one. Um, where things happen within the city, like little side quests, I guess, uh, that you have to then jump on. I don't recall. Maybe it was in 1404 too. Maybe, maybe it was. I don't really recall. Um, I guess I could have also sped this up a little bit. Let's see what other decorations I've got. I can unlock more. Uh, okay, so now we can clear some residences. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Yes. So we can click on these, and they will run simultaneously, if I have enough people. And these will provide me some goods. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. Your farmers are hungry. Build a fishery. Well, I could continue the road here. That actually works out very well. Continues the dock. I kind of like the look of that. Uh, yeah, we'll just put it right here. Easy McPeasy. Please don't leave your crate unattended, sir. Alright, so now we need 100 farmers, which uh, 
Actually, seeing as how these are half full means that I really only need the fish in order for them to get to 100. Now, I could do that uh, a little bit faster, preemptively, and, and build another 10. Uh, speaking of 10, let's go ahead and build this up. Eight, four, five, ten. I wish I could see the... Whoop, 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 let go of that. Okay. Wish I could see the grid a little bit better. Alright. So we can speed this up, or it looks like I've got a quest. Maybe? No? No, but I can, uh, I guess, purchase fish. Is that what she's telling me? Loading ramps. Use to load and unload transports. So is that what that was? Was indicating... Okay, I've got to find a different spot for my recording thing, because that is over some probably important data right there. Now it looks like that is currently being loaded with fish. It will then be taken up here. I don't know if it's just me or not, but it seems like the... Uh, seems like the interface is a little bit squeezed. Like there's a lot of stuff here. We are running a deficit. So we're making money off of farmers, this so I could put the more farmers. This is the way the farmers ride, hobbledy hobbledy hoy. Hey! Okay. Um. Well, maybe it would just be better to put some down right now. out of something? Not out of that. Was it... Huh? Oh, okay. It's just because I can't build here because of this thing. So, what are we at? Content population. We've got 65 farmers. Our attractiveness is okay. At least... A place at least one person doesn't absolutely hate. Okay, well, I mean, that's good. Oh, okay, it's just, that's, it's not taking it to the marketplace, it's taking it here. It's just pulling it and offloading it, pulling it and offloading it. Alright. So, we are filling up on fish. That's good. So, we've got the contented farmers, they're moving in. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of a slow start game here. We there we go. Milestone. We're now a village. We now have access to stuff and stuff. Start by opening the timber production chain. Okay, what do we need to do here? We need to get an abandoned Help market square. Enough to demolish the large ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. Okay, we got that going. Um, Everything you've built so far consumed wood. We'll be needing more of it to continue. Question is, which way? Now, I know for a fact we need to go this it's way eventually. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest. And maybe wet their whistles. Okay. Guys, <laughs> already there's, there's too much stuff. Uh, let's lower this down. Okay, so we need to get some timber. We need to get some wood going. A small warehouse connected to the trading post is what we need to extend out. I don't know that we actually need that to build this, though. Okay, you'll see that we've actually got... Hmm. Oh, we've actually got another circular thing uh, here indicating where they'll pull from. And another interesting thing here as well, uh, you see that little clock. That indicates the amount of time it will take for them to gain that resource. I'm assuming when it's not there, it's just uh, either instantaneous or, or effectively um, uh, effectively the uh, basic time unit that they provide. So we'll build down here. Let's we'll connect the road this way. 
can you stop for a moment? Now they need clothes. Like, just give me, give me a minute, lady. So 99%, 89%, 93%, 99%. See, I don't know why some of them were giving me time and then others were not. So I guess because of that road now, I'll have to build it here. And let's look at the time it takes. Um, is that production? That seems to be production. 15 seconds might be the uh, default time, but there's no warehouse to drop it off to. So let's grab you and put you halfway in between. Now that's okay. So it actually does show me here. Uh, how about on this side though? Just in case I decide to put another... Actually putting that right here is probably a good idea. Uh, let me get down in here and have a look. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter which side I put it on. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could put the warehouse down here. Sure. Okay. So we need another sawmill near the lumberjack's hut and connected to a road. Okay. Oh, well, we are well running low right on timber, but there's plenty in the ruins. We should clear some to stock up. Okay, but first I want to orientate this so that it looks good. Uh, I guess that works. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Eldest, you outdo yourself. Yes, yes. Uh, clear any small ruin for timber. Okay, we'll make that one go. Oh, yes, we got timber here, too. Now, I saw another small ruin over here. Abandoned chapel. That is stone ruins. I think that means that we will need to have uh, a much... Well, we need the when next I level up is what we need. your people's faces, I see trouble. Make sure their misery doesn't become a problem. I'm working on it. Okay, so uh, that is done. So now we need to look at the next part of this, his thing, making schnapps for people. Uh, so this is where we're going to be making farming. Now, where do I want the farming? I guess maybe I can have it go this way. Having this, well, or I could have it go straight up. Make kind of a farming area out here. Or just have it in the wings out here. I do see another abandoned building. Let's go look for that first, because I'm going to need to pick some stuff up. And the cool thing is you can click them, and they will uh, they'll get started on their own, so you can kind of... That's not a good one for me. Okay, there's another one. Um, another one. Another one. Okay, there's more, but I'll leave them. We do have a certain amount of timber storage, so I don't want to get too... Or lumber storage, I guess. Um, I don't want to get too crazy with that ahead of time. Um, okay, so let me lay out my road system a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I think that is where I'll leave the boundaries, because if I do another lumber yard here... 97%... Well, I mean, at 15, that's effectively the same amount. I mean, it takes these guys 15 seconds to, to build, right? Yeah. So having another one right about there, that's fine. So we'll leave this sort of the edge of civilization, as it were. And we will extend this out. I think I will have it built over here, as a matter of fact. Uh, now, the thing is, I do not know if the industrial buildings require being close. I think it does. You see that green range there. I think it does have to be within a range. So my idea of having the industrial beginnings of the town, I'm not sure if that will be feasible here. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with a potato farm. So I'm thinking I will need... 
let's pick a okay well I guess that does that does it um, I don't know I feel like maybe we could extend it even further but I it, this will be fine okay so it's producing potato I need a schnapps distillery and I can make that go quite a ways actually but I guess that doesn't have to be too far away So that'll work. How many people do I need to demolish this? Uh, I need 150 farmers here. Okay, they need goods for that. So I guess we can have it go this way. And eat into this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this will be a little bit different, obviously, but for my layouts, but uh, we'll be fine. So yeah, well, it's kind of a, a central 5x5 five five or something like that. So we'll put a sheep farm now. Oh, it's screaming at me for potatoes because I didn't put this down yet. Farm. Right. No fields. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm getting to it. So uh, what makes this game different is that some of the farms, in case the potato farm here, uh, allows me to actually draw out my fields. So what I mean by that is that I can decide what it looks like as opposed to having a plot of 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four or whatever. Um, so that's kind of cool because I can drag it around in different ways and uh, you know make it, make it uh, usable space around some of the some of the plots that might otherwise be in the way. Clear that up. Uh, did I grab any wood? I did not grab all the wood. I think 75 was my... Okay, yeah. We'll go gather that stuff that's hanging out up there a little bit later. We're taking every care. Okay. So you'll see that, yeah, I, uh, I'm kind of stuck there. But now that leaves me open uh, a spot that I could put maybe another potato farm in. Uh, yeah, fits right there, and then I can make my own block. So, kind of cool in that regard. Uh, and then, uh, so that's waiting on that, right. Now we go over to the sheep farm, and the sheep farm, however, does have the plots. Let's orientate this so it makes sense. I guess that works. Um, so we'll click on this, and then I just have my 3x3 three three here. So, yeah, kind of interesting uh, for the, the layout situation. Uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, okay, we'll have this one come a little bit closer here. Uh, where's the entrance to this damn thing? I, I don't really know. I don't actually know where the entrance is. I guess this is it. That's fine. It'll work. Keep it kind of close, and that will start getting people. Now, you can see here I have a negative workforce. I have too many jobs and not enough people, which is interesting because in order to unlock this, I need 150, but I'm already in debt to uh, the tune of 170, so I need a lot more, which means I'll just be putting down another layout. Um... That is not what I wanted. Fortunately, we can move these things. What a beautiful design choice. That they, oh my god, that they finally got on board with the ability to move your buildings. So I could have lined up the roads so that they aren't all higgledy-piggledy. But, uh, you know. Once they move in here, that should be good. Because we're looking at, what, 10, 20, 23 times 10? So, yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be quite a lot. Uh, quite, a, quite a bit too many, perhaps. What do we got here? I think... Hmm. 
Okay, 75. I think I just wasted those ones, but whatever. Let's go find some more. May as well have these built and ready to go. Demolished and ready to go. Uh, now, when they have stone on them, that means that they will be deconstructed the into bricks. The funeral. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate! Repay me now, or sell up. He wants four schnapps. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. Once again, I am indebted to you. Uh, why is that our hat? Oh, I need a pub as well. Okay. Well, that will unlock when? When I have 150 farmers. Well, whilst we're waiting for that, I have yet to unlock that stuff, but maybe... Maybe I can add some decoration here. Anno Union banners. Not really sure what I got that made me... Ooh. See, now this makes me want to unlock a lion. There's also a lion statue. There's a lot of statues, actually. They're pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go with that one, and then let's go with maybe that one. Uh, this will look cooler, obviously, as time goes on, but... Um, gardens? Gardens? I got wooden fences. That's not that cool. Oh, okay, fire. <laughs> I'm sure we'll... Uh, I don't even know. Um, that one? Yeah, fine. I'll put that more central. Is somebody on fire? Is that why that happened? Or are you just being cautious? Uh, we apparently have four schnapps in place. You will not spoil my plans with your time. No, we don't. We have one. Okay. He'll tell me when he's ready. Um, so then we'll do a pub, which is now available. And I guess I can put that right there, actually. That that works out just fine. But let's... Well, I mean, the orientation doesn't really matter. But out to the front. Street Your front. people are recovered there and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Okay, so does that mean I've got enough? I guess I've got enough. We'll get rid of the old church district. I could maybe move this. In fact, I think I will. Uh, once this is gone, I'll finish this district and move that over there. Uh, because we're getting into some of the uh, industrial area. And, well, you know, I mean, I guess I guess that's okay. Oh, but you know what isn't okay? This is facing the wrong way. Or is it? Ah, damn it. Yeah. That's what you want. Speak to our humble cousin. Whoa. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Stop. Let go. God, okay. It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. That's that's great. Um Okay. Well, I've whatever. Um before we go here. Ah, uh, that's in the way, of course you are. I'll build this up as as far as I can. And then let's maybe move this over to here instead. Uh, interesting, interesting. So, okay. So actually, it looks like it's probably best right where it is. Um, which means that this road is going to go this way. Or well, maybe not. So maybe I can only have one of these in a block in order for it to actually work out. It's not... God, I have to get used to that. Uh, hmm, okay. Well, I will just actually leave it where it was, then. Why do they keep moving the pub? Stop it. And we'll do a little bit more decorations at some point. You know, I could maybe even start squeezing stuff in there. I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Uh... To, to make things fit. I just feel like 
Aesthetically, maybe this is not where I want this, but I don't even know. Okay, so have we hit this yet? No, we're, we're very close. Very close to one. Uh, schnapps is over here. Very close to one more. This is... It seems very... Very circuitous to have to pick that up from there. Oh, it's taking it to the warehouse. Interesting, okay. Let's speed that forward. It's bringing three, actually. And it takes time to unload. Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. Alright. Well, we've got another uh, branch of quests to extend the story. So I'm going to end this one here, and I will see you next time.